The Zone will have a special feature this coming Saturday, July 13th, as Jerron Ennis defends his newly acquired IBF welterweight title against David Havanesian. This is going to be a new showcase for Ennis and hopefully Matchroom will have something good set up for him in the future. Let's talk about it. Rolling straight ahead, full steam, is Matchroom and DAZN as they continue to present quality boxing cards with the best that boxing has to offer as far as fighters on their cards. It'll be no different July 13th, Saturday, this coming Saturday, for the homecoming of Jerron Boots Ennis, newly crowned IBF World Welterweight championship fight. He is going to defend from the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, his hometown, taking on David Avenisi, a contender who has circulated the top of the division and has had the experience of being in with a fighter that Jerron has been compared to a great deal. Both men are now entering this bout with their respective records. Jerron is coming in 31 and 0 with 28 KOs. Avenician is coming in with a record of 30 and 4 with one draw, 18 KOs. Jerron has been on the shelf for a while. He's had some promotional problems and issues going on behind the scenes, but he is now ready to have put that behind him as he intends to be a featured fighter with Matchroom and DAZN looking to break the pound for pound records as he goes forward as the IBF welterweight champion. Avenesian, who is most known for his December 2022 loss to Terrence Bud Crawford, where he was stopped in that fight against Crawford. It's an interesting thing that Avenesian is more known for a fight that he lost than a fight for winning. But that was Crawford's fight just before facing off against Earl Spence Jr. The fight ended in a six round KO victory for Crawford. Some people had said that there was some controversy but as Avenesian succumbed to the pound for pound king at that time. He has since come back with a win under his belt. And as he looks to go into this fight against Ennis, that win is not significant enough against Serge and Balmo when he fought in December of 2023. So this will be his first fight of the year as well. We'll have to see if Avenesian can bring anything. He's 35 years of age and Jerron Ennis is entering a prime at 27. Avenesian's 5'8 with a 68 and a half inch reach. Ennis is 5'10 with a 74 inch reach. Dimensions quite similar along with his boxing abilities as Terrence Bud Crawford and this could definitely spell an alarm for Avenesian.
also a case of vulnerability for Avenesian. It will be Boots Ennis's ability to box both Orthodox as well as Southpaw. He can switch with the best of them. Some think even better than Crawford. But he brings a skill set that Avenesian will not be able to adjust to. Jerron Ennis has an unorthodox way of being able to attack his footwork where he can side step and gain angles with speed and power blended. Avenesian will be able to attack and score if he can punch in between what Ennis does, but I do believe he'll find himself covering up. When he faced Romain Vila, one of the things that Vila had going for him was the ability to absorb punishment, but he didn't capitalize offensively where there were points of vulnerability for Ennis. Another key aspect in this fight for Avenesian will be the fact that currently Ennis hasn't fought since July of 2023. Will there be ring rust? He's a young man, so he should be able to shake things out very quickly. I don't know how durable Avenesian can be. However, he can expect to absorb shots. One place that he may find comfort might be in close with Ennis. How good of an inside fighter is Ennis? We don't know, we haven't seen him pressed to that degree. But we do know from mid-range to being on the outside, the speed, quickness, and power, and angles that he's able to deliver his shots will give, give him great advantages. At the end of the day, fighters who have the athleticism like an Ennis, they usually don't show vulnerabilities until they slow down or early in their career if they're caught with something that really makes them rethink how they go about their offense and defense in the ring. Terrence Crawford is very cunning and crafty and has technical ability. Ennis, we know he has technical ability. We know that he has athleticism, but we haven't seen the cunning or the crafty because the level of opposition that he has faced haven't been there to bring that out of him yet, but it is to come. There are fighters at the welterweight division that he can face going forward that will give us a great insight as to what he has to offer being the fighter that he is. Matchroom often matches their fighters in fights that are 50-50 at times and turn out on paper to look one way and then when you see the fighters fighting, you see something totally different. There is an opportunity for there to be a good fight because of both men and their layoff. And if Ennis decides to give the people something to look at. See, that's the other aspect of it that we don't think about. Carrying a guy to put on a show. Sometimes the greatest fighters are able to do that to get the audiences drawn in and then pull the rug right from under their feet because then you say, wow, he really took that guy out. We didn't see that coming. Yes, that's when a fighter is smart, ring IQ, give the people a show. It's not always about just blitzing a guy and getting rid of him. Avenesian is gonna try. I know he's gonna do that and try to be at his best, but at the end of the day, Jerron Boots Ennis should be able to prevail and give Matchroom something that they haven't had in a while. A guy in a welterweight division who is lightning sharp, fast, a guy who can put butts in the seats, 
and be exciting and thrilling all at the t same time and being a champion. I look forward to seeing Jerron. He is, as I stated before, the future. And now his future has arrived. As we can look forward to this fight Saturday night, expect a show from Ennis, especially being in his hometown. But what do you think? This is Stormy B-Man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Peace to everyone out there, and everyone please remain safe.